Hello and welcome back to Wendy's Way. Today we're continuing our journey in faith in our Bible 365 series. We have read through Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, and we're nearing the end of Numbers, and we've also read the book of Job. Today is day 65 in our series. We're going to be reading Numbers chapters 26 and 27. And as my husband so eloquently pointed out to me, today is day 65. Only 300 more to go. <laughs> All right. I'm ready to get back into the Word. <laughs> Please join me. Numbers chapter 26. After the plague, the Lord said to Moses and to Eleazar, the son of Aaron the priest, Take a census of all the congregation of the people of Israel, from twenty years old and upward, by their fathers' houses, all in Israel who are able to go to war. And Moses and Eleazar the priest spoke with them in the plains of Moab, by the Jordan at Jericho, saying, Take a census of the people, from twenty years old and upward, as the Lord commanded Moses. The people of Israel came out of the land who came out of the land of Egypt were Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, and the sons of Reuben, of Hanok, the clans of the Hanakites, of Palu, the clan of the Paluites, of Hezron, the clan of the Hezronites, of Carmi, the clan of the Carmites. These are the clans of the Reubenites, and those listed were 43,730, one clan. Wow, one tribe, I guess you could say. And the sons of Palu, Eliab, the son of Eliab, Nemuel, Dathan, and Abiram. These are the Dathan and Abiram chosen from the congregation who contended against Moses and Aaron in the company of Korah when they contended against the Lord. And the earth opened up its mouth and swallowed them up together with Korah when that company died, when the fire devoured 250, devoured 250 men, and they became a warning. But the sons of Korah did not die. The sons of Simeon, according to their clans, of Nemuel, the clan of the Nemuelites, of Jamin, the clan of the Jamanites, of Jachin, the clan of the Jachinites, of Zerah, the clan of the Zerahites, of Shaul, the clan of the Shaulites. These are the clans of the Simeonites, 22,200. The sons of Gad, according to their clans, of Zephon, the clan of the Zephonites, of Haggai, the son of the Haggites, of Shuni, the clan of the Shunites, of Ozni, the clan of the Oznites, of Eri, the clan of the Erites, of Erod, the clan of the Eridites, of Areli, the clan of the Arelites. These are the clans of the sons of Gad as they were listed, 40,500. The sons of Judah were Ur and Onan, and Ur and Onan died in the land of Canaan. And the sons of Judah, according to their clans, were of Shelah, the clan of the Shelanites, of Perez, the clan of the Perizzites, of Zerah, the clan of the Zerahites. And the sons of Perez were of Hezron, the clan of the Hezronites, of Hamul, the clan of the Hamulites. These are the clans of Judah, as they were listed, 76,000. 500. The sons of Issachar, according to their clans, of Tola, the clan of the Tolaites, of Puba, the clan of the Punites, of Jashub, the clan of the Jashubites, of Shemron, the clan of the Shemronites. These are the clans of Issachar as they were listed, 64,300. And these are just men 20 years and older. It doesn't count women, children. 
Well, and it's just men able to go to war, so likely not the elderly either. The sons of Zebulun, according to their clans, of Sared, the clan of the Saradites, of Elon, the clan of the Elonites, of Jalil, the clan of the Jalilites. These are the clans of the Zebulonites as they were listed, 60,500. The sons of Joseph, according to their clans, Manasseh and Ephraim. The sons of Manasseh, of Machir, the clan of the Machirites, and Machir was the father of Gilead, of Gilead, the clan of the Gileadites. These are the sons of Gilead, of Iazer, the clan of the Azerites, of Helek, the clan of the Helekites, and of Asriel, the clan of the Asrielites, and of Shechem, the clan of the Shechemites, and of Shemida, the clan of the Shemidia, Sh hmm, Shemidaites, and of Hefer, the clan of the Heferites. Now, Zelophehad, the son of Hefer, had no sons, but daughters. And the name of the daughters of Zelophehad were Mala, Noah, Ogla, Milka, and Tirzah. These are the clans of Manasseh, and those listed were 52,700. These are the sons of Ephraim, according to their clans of Shethula, the clan of the Shethulahites, of Beker, the clan of the Bekerites, of Tahan, the clan of the Tahanites, and these are the sons of Shethula, of Iran, the clan of Aaronites. These are the clans of the sons of Ephraim, as they were listed, 32,500. These are the sons of Joseph, according to their clans. The sons of Benjamin, according to their clans, of Bela, the clan of the Belaites, <coughs> excuse me, of Ashbel, the clan of Ashbelites, of Ahiram, the clan of Ahiramites, of Shephupham, the clan of the Shephamite, Shufamites, sorry, of Hupam, the clan of the Hupamites, and the sons of Bela were Ard and Naaman, of Ard, the clan of the Ardites, <coughs> Excuse me. Naaman, the clan of the Naaman, Naamites. These are the sons of Benjamin according to their clans, and those listed were 45,600. These are the sons of Dan according to their clans. Of Shuam, the clan of the Shuamites. And these are the clans of Dan according to their clans. All the clans, the Shuamites, as they were listed, were 64,400. One father of the clan, one son of the clan, 64,400. That was a prolific bunch. The sons of Asher, according to their clans, of Imna, the clan of the Imnites, of Ishbi, the clan of the Ishvites, of Bariah, the clan of the Barites, of the sons of Bariah, of Heber, the clan of the Heberites, of Malkiel, the clan of Malkielites, and the name of the daughter of Asher was Sarah. These are the clans of the sons of Asher, and they were listed 53,400. The sons of Naphtali, according to their clans, of Jazeel, the clan of the Jazeelites, of Guni, the clan of the Gunites, of Jezer, the clan of the Jezerites, of Shalem, the clan of the Shalemites. These are the clans of Naphtali, according to their clans, and those listed were 45,400. This was the list of the people of Israel, 601,730. Oh, wow. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Among these the land shall be divided for inheritance according to the number of names. To a large tribe you shall give a large inheritance, and to a small tribe you shall give a small inheritance. 
every tribe shall be given its inheritance in proportion to its list. But the land shall be divided by lot. According to the names of the tribes of their fathers, they shall inherit. Their inheritance shall be divided according to lot between the larger and the smaller. This was the list of the Levites according to their clans. Of Gershon, the clan of the Gershonites, of Kohath, the clan of the Kohathites, of Merari, the clan of the Merarites. These are the clans of Levi. The clan of the Libnites, the clan of the Hebronites, the clan of the Malites, the clan of the Mushites, the clan of the Korahites, and Kohath was the father of Amram. The name of, name of Amram's wife was Jochebed, the daughter of Levi who was born to Levi in Egypt. And she bore to Amram, Aaron, and Moses, and Miriam, their sister. And to Aaron were born Nadab, Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. But Nadab and Abihu died when they offered unauthorized fire before the Lord. And those listed were 23,000, every male, from a month old and upward, for they were not listed among the people of Israel because they, there was no inheritance given to them among the people of Israel. They were to be the priests. These were those listed by Moses and Eleazar the priest, who listed the people of Israel in the plains of Moab by the Jordan of Jericho. But among these there was not one of those listed by Moses and Aaron the priest who had listed the people of Israel in the wilderness of Sinai. For the Lord had said of them, they shall die in the wilderness. Not one of them was left, except Caleb, the son of Jephune, and Joshua, the son of Nun. As you remember, they were the two that went in to spy the land, the two of 12, and they were the only two who came out confident that the Lord would support them and that they could conquer the enemies, despite their size and everything about them that would be intimidating to the worldly folks who didn't believe that God could do anything. Even though he had shown them over and over and over that he could do anything. So that's why those two were the only ones who lived. Chapter 27. Then drew near the daughters of Zelophehad, the son of Hefer, son of Gilead, son of Machir, son of Manasseh, from the clans of Manasseh, the son of Joseph. The names of his daughters were Mala, Noah, Ogla, Milka, and Tirzah. And they stood before Moses, and before Eleazar the priest, and before the chiefs, and all the congregation at the entrance of the tent of meeting, saying, Our father died in the wilderness. He was not among the company of those who gathered themselves together against the Lord in the company of Koah, but died for his own sin, and he had no sons. Why should the name of our father be taken away from his clan because he had no son? Give to us a possession among our father's brothers. Moses brought their case before the Lord. And the Lord said to Moses, The daughters of Zepholahad are right. You shall give them possession of an inheritance among their father's brothers and transfer the inheritance of their father to them. And you shall speak to the people of Israel, saying, If a man dies and has no son, then you shall transfer his inheritance to his daughter. And if he has no daughter, then you shall give his inheritance to his brothers. And if he has no brothers, then you shall give his inheritance to his father's brothers. And if his father had, has no brothers, then you shall give his inheritance to the nearest kinsman of his clan, and he shall possess it. And it shall be for the people of Israel a statute and a rule, as the Lord commanded Moses. The Lord said to Moses, Go up into this mountain of Abarim and see the land that I have given to the people of Israel. When you have seen it, you also shall be gathered to your people, as your brother Aaron was. 
because you rebelled against my word in the wilderness of Zin when the congregation quarreled, failing to uphold me as holy at the waters before their eyes. These are the waters of Meribah of Kadesh in the wilderness of Zin. Moses spoke to the Lord, saying, Let the Lord, the God of the spirits of all flesh, appoint a man over the congregation, who shall go out before them and come in before them, who shall lead them out and bring them in, that the congregation of the Lord may not be as sheep that have no shepherd. So the Lord said to Moses, Take Joshua, the son of Nun, a man in whom is the Spirit, and lay your hand on him. Make him stand before Eleazar the priest and all the congregation, and you shall commission him in their sight. You shall invest him with some of your authority, that all the congregation of the people of Israel may obey. And he shall stand before Eleazar the priest, who shall inquire for him by the judgment of Urim before the Lord. At his word they shall go out, and at his word they shall come in, both he and all the people of Israel with him, the whole congregation. And Moses did as the Lord commanded him. He took Joshua and made him stand before Eleazar the priest and the whole congregation. And he laid his hands on him and commissioned him as the Lord directed through Moses. All right, that concludes our reading for today, day 65 of 365. Um, we're learning more and more as we follow the Israelites after they left Egypt and went through the wilderness, all the things the Lord was doing in and through them and through Moses. And now we know that his can't come up with the word. The man who took over in Moses' end times was Joshua, chosen by the Lord to take his place. I'm so happy that you decided to join me today in the Word in our Bible 365 series. I pray that the Lord who blesses me each and every day of my life will bless you as well, today and always. Amen. <laughs>